Hey guys, welcome back to the next video of making a React Native app. So in the previous video, we made the text input, as you can see, entering some good stuff here. Let's go ahead and remove that and create another JavaScript class inside of components and call this list item. Uh, add that. Now, our list item is where is it? This bad boy right here. This one here. So we've got from the way I look at this, it's a view with a text and an icon. Now, how are we gonna translate that to code? First things first, we need to import React as usual. Then let's go ahead and import our components. So text, view, style sheet, and pressable uh, from react native just like that oops not just like that add an e why i miss that the e cool now yeah let's do that uh const list item equals arrow function export default list item there are um functions you can use I think uh, for my one is RCFC gives me, you know, so this is another way of making a React class. Uh, however, I would recommend until you understand what this kind of code does, continue typing it out so you remember it as well. That's how I learned to code, just constantly typing it out from memory. And then it kind of stuck in my head and I was able to code more and more. So now we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and return our view. Inside of this view, let's add some text, uh, some text here. And let's go ahead and import that right here. <coughs> so import this item from dot slash component slash list item and let's add that here list item nice once we save that load it up and we should have some text here so as always we kind of need to style it to get the kind of effect we want so Let's do that now. Let's go ahead and create our um, style sheet. So const styles equals style sheet dot create. Now inside of here we want our container. Our container is the main uh, div to which the text is on. And inside of here we want flex direction so flex is a way of laying out items on a component so most cases or of course in this case it'll just be vertically but there are times when you do it horizontally so vertically and horizontally and then here we want to specify row so the items are row based so they go uh, left to right rather than top to bottom so horizontally the items are basically placed horizontally rather than vertically we could do um leave this column like that but for time we're going to do row and i'll show you the difference in a second well i guess yeah let's see the difference now actually style equals styles dot container let's add another one let's uh, got a brilliant error that's great because i didn't call that styles okay let's do that again Do a hard reload so it loads properly. Hello. 
So here you see row. Now it's going some text here, some text here. Now if we do, I believe it's a just column. Yeah, there we go. Column just like that. Now it's gone top to bottom. So that's kind of laying out uh, positions of these components. So we'll go with row because as you can see in the design text here, icon there. Now let's give it the background color of hashtag FFF. Let's align our items centrally. Uh, give it some padding of about 15. Make the width 320. Is that what the design is? Let's have a look. Oops. So the width was 340. So I think I made the padding a bit bigger in my one. So I'm going to keep it as 320 and see how that looks. Height 60. I believe that's the same. Yeah, is it? No, height is 70 there, 60 there. Okay, let's see how that looks. We can improve it as we go along. Um, border radius of 20. So this is our, now we're going to add the shadow. So let's just copy it from our, from either the import or the button. So go here, just like that. And that is it. So if you go ahead and run that now, look at that, look at that, looking good. Um, obviously <laughs> it's white on white, but we are going to change the background color, uh, just like we did in the design. So don't worry about that. Now we want to get rid of this text and let's create some stars for our text. Let's give it flex one. That means they'll take up all of the space that it can. So it'll, it'll take up as much of the space as it can and give it our color of 70, 70, 70 and font size of 16. So let's look at that and there we go. Okay, looks good. Uh, once we've added that, so I mean here you can't really tell there's much there. So just for that, let's just go ahead and do uh, background color. Oh, background color is already there. Bad. So let's get our background color. EF, EF, EF. Put that there. Get rid of that hashtag. Save that. That's much better. Now you can really tell. On the phone, you can really tell a lot more as well. So, go back to list item and let's go ahead, scroll up and let's bring in our icon. So, do import icon from react native vector icon slash material icons. So inside of here, we're going to pull our icons from material icons, which is kind of Google icons. And we're going to bring that in here. So we're going to use our pressable like that. Um, and inside of the pressable, we're going to put our icon. So if we do it like that, the icon we're going to get is name equals um, delete forever give it a size of 32 size equals 32 save that where is that error there oh my bad there we go so if you look at that hey got our icon in there now, if you want to look at how I know it was delete forever too, we can do react native icons. Bring up the documentation on that. And let's see where it is. Set in examples. Let it go. Check this one out. I think it's this one. Uh, 
Yep, here we go. So here it's got our full icon set of different icons. You can kind of look through that. You can also search for, let's say, like log out. Here we go. Now in the code, let's go ahead and define some colors for our icon. So in here, we're going to do const icon color and set icon color. We'll do equals react.use state. And inside of there, we'll put our red. So it's BE0000. And we'll put that here. We'll just say color is equal to icon color. So if we save that and load that, should come up. Not sure why I brought that up again. So reload. Okay. Field prop type invalid prop type color to the icon. Okay. Forgot to put the hashtag. There we go. Let's do that real quick. There we go. So that's got our icon there. Now let's align this correctly. So before we do that, let's go ahead and assign all our um, items. So in this case, the pressable. Let's say, well, we need to bring in some props first. So within there, let's bring in text on delete and style so for the style we can do the spread operator again so dot 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 style the container dot 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 style like that and in the press we'll do on press equals on delete on press in equals arrow function set icon color so here when we on press in, we want to set it as a lighter color. So in this case, EB, one, two, one, two, three. So four zeros. And then on press out equals set icon color BE, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, zero. Now it is confusing EB and PE realize that they are two different colors um added one too many zeros there right once you've got that we can save that go back here now here you can see it's changing colors as we press it now one thing is We need to provide our text, so style, styles.txt. And once we've done that, there we go. That is exactly how it looks in our app here, the design. And that is our list item. So what we can do is uh, this text needs to go here. Text like that. And let's go ahead and bring in some default props as well. So list item dot default props is equal to text. We'll just call this list item like that. So we can go ahead and save that. If we don't provide any text, it will be provided here for us. So that's our list item. Thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video.